Hey ladies and gents, welcome to episode 4 in my Barcelona Mass League where we're taking on Real Madrid in El Clasico. But before that, we face some tough games and I score one of my best ever Lionel Messi goals. If you're new to my Barcelona Mass League, these are the rules and challenges that I'm abiding by. As you can see there, I've got a match rating system where I have to play players that are on form and drop players that are off form. So now Pep faces the press where he will answer your questions from the last episode in the comments with the hashtag ask pep yes hi there pep it's lucian green from sky sports news it's all well uh the messi and fatty are in outstanding form but we know that fatigue and injuries are a factor what are your plans in the event that messi or fatty have to sit out due to injury well we always have plenty of options here at barcelona we have the likes of dembele coutinho braithwaite griezmann trincao we have plenty of options up front, but I'm still looking to strengthen in the market. Yes, hi Pep, it's Richard here from BN Sports. Uh, Pep, your team has shown defensive weakness against quick counterattacks, which was pretty evident in the Ibar and Sociedad matches. How are you thinking to counter that? Yes, what you say is true, but we are an attacking team, so we are going to have players forward. But I do have some nice tactical tweaks you through the use of man marking, which will hopefully prevent those quick counterattacks from causing too much trouble like you saw in the upper and real Sociedad matches. Hi Pep, it's Sasha VP here from the BBC. How do you think you're doing this season currently? Fatty has been extremely brilliant in these games. What are your thoughts on his performance? Well, 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 Fatty. Whew. What a player. What a player. He's been superb. I have no words. I have no words for this guy right now. He is perfect. He is absolutely brilliant. But the season results, up and down, up and down. I think we just need to wait to see how this season plans out a little bit longer. Hi Pep, it's John from AFBG. Will you sign an England youngster like Trent Alexander-Arnold from Liverpool? Well, Trent is an exceptional player, probably the best right back in the world, and we want the best players here at Barcelona so I'm not going to rule it out but there's plenty of young talent out there that we can look at and sign in the next transfer window. Thank you everyone for your questions and I look forward to seeing you next time. So the first match of this episode sees us face Michelin in the Champions League. Just remember in the last match Dest and Fati performed really well so they have to feature Admittedly, I'd like to drop Fatty because you can see the stamina has dropped just a little bit there. But, you know, Dest has been fantastic. So this is the lineup. So Michelin to get us underway. Michelin on the attack here, but intercepted, but given away. Oh, he's wriggled through. Oh, he's just fired that just wide. Here come Barcelona. Mateus Fernandez had to give him a, a start and a little double touch there. Oh, fired just wide there, but not that far away. Here come Michelin. Oh, my word. Where's the defence? Oh, my gosh. Clear it. Oh, off the line. <laughs> Unbelievable. Ball in. Headed and... Easy save for the goalkeeper. It's all Michelin. What's going on here? Just to pick up possession of the ball. Here's Griezmann. Feeds Pjanic. Pjanic. Beautiful ball through. Here's Fatty. Here's Fatty. Little step over. Curls it into the corner of the net. The guy is unstoppable. He is unstoppable. Has been all Michelin, but this is our first sort of real counter attack and make them pay. I love this little step over here just to cut inside and a little finesse finish into the far corner. So we got lucky there with the, the through ball, took a deflection. But here it's all about Ansi Fazi. Holds his man off, step over, cuts inside, and just places it into the far corner. Michelin back on the attack again, as they have been. Foul. A free kick. 
taken quickly. Oh, a shot across the goal, but comfortably saved. It's Fernandez. Oh, he's lost the ball. He shouldn't be losing the ball there. Oh, they're through. Oh, good save. Wonderful save. Mateus Fernandez shouldn't be losing the ball in those sort of areas, though. Here's Fatty. Oh, he's just lost out there. De Jong. Griezmann. De Jong. De Jong through. Oh, taken off his foot. Great defending. Pjanic. Manual effort. Tied it up in the end. Free kick to Michelin here. Cleared away. Little step over. Ball inside. Oh, this is nice. Oh, tipped wide. Great save. Kept in the game by the goalkeeper. And that is that. Full time whistle. And that's enough for Barcelona to qualify in the Champions League. Just a single goal by Ansu Fati. He's really, uh, he's really carried this team this season. I think he's uh, probably the, the real shining light. I mean, everyone talks about Messi, but Fatty's definitely uh, stepping up to the plate. What an exciting prospect. So you can see there from the stats, it was all Michelin, really. We can see that Langlet has to be dropped. Pjanic and Ansu Fati are going to be starting the next match. And again, I wanted to rest Fatty. But, you know, this is how the challenges impact my Master League. So there's the Champions League group stage results. Liverpool beating Olympic Marseille 3-1. So that means they are top of the Champions League group. So it's just between us and Liverpool for that top spot. So we're facing Cadiz. And normally I would start Ansu Fati because he was on form. But obviously he has picked up an injury because I've been forced to play him, basically. He keeps doing well. So he's out for a whole week. So we won't be seeing or using him for a while. And uh, Griezmann's off form. So I've brought in a strike force of Messi, Dembele and Trincao up front. So here we are, facing Cadiz. Hopefully I'll pronounce their team name right. I'm sure it might be Cadiz. <laughs> but uh, I struggle with the Spanish language. But here's Coutinho. Oh, comfortable save for the goalkeeper, that one. De Jong. Coutinho. Back to De Jong. Into Trincao. To Dest. Trincao. Messi. Tries to curl it. And another comfortable save, similar to the Coutinho chance. Here's De Jong. Dest. Pjanic. Coutinho. Patient build up this from Barcelona. Back heel to Dembele. Messi back to Coutinho. Oh, come on. Here's Coutinho again. It's at the centre of everything. Here's Messi. Fires one in and well wide of the post in the end. Dest driving forward. Oh, lovely little flick there. Back to Coutinho. Oh, that's a bit of a stray pass. Who the hell was that to? But <laughs> finds its way to De Jong. Here's Coutinho again. Messi. Messi! Oh. Expect better from Messi. Here's Cadiz. On the attack. Oh, my goodness! That was a chance. You've got to perform better. Get a goal. 63rd minute. Messi. Ah, oh, it's a comfortable save in the end, really. Messi on free kick duty. Looking for Coutinho. Coutinho gets it. Oh, deflected over the bar. Great chance for Coutinho. Look at this. Oh, I think it was going wide, to be fair, until the deflection. Took it over the bar, but corner to Barcelona, and they scored! Oh, De Jong. 70th minute. Starting to worry. 
who might drop points against Cadiz. Can't drop points for these teams, really. But a great header at the near post to give Barcelona the lead. But Cadiz strike back and it's so oh, headed just over the bar. <laughs> oh my word. And so close to equalising like straight after. Almost straight from the kickoff. There come Barcelona. Lovely little flick there by uh, the sub Braithwaite. Oh, what a ball. Uh, oh! oh, oh, oh. I, thought he, I thought he cleared it, but he couldn't get enough uh, purchase on it and just sort of fell nicely to Pjanic. Lovely goal. Oh, I love the little finish. Look at this. Coutinho. Lofted ball. Yeah, he couldn't quite get enough purchase to get it out of play or away from goal. And in the end, helped Pjanic, really. Put him in a prime position. Let, little nod of the head past the goalkeeper. 2-0. And that should be that. And it is. So, a tough game against Cadiz. Not easy at all. I mean, no games are easy on this legend difficulty. But And there we are. So, Pjanic, man of the match. De Jong must start. But look at the players that have to be dropped. PK, Firpo, and Dembele. All going to be missing from the next match. So, as a result. And that leaves us just a point ahead of Real Madrid and Atletico Madrid at the top of the table. Very, very tight at the minute. And don't forget, we have that match against Real Madrid to come. So here's the lineup to face Real Valladolid. And it's, uh, you can see a lot of off-form players there that have to be picked. And a lot of stamina issues as well. So Lionel Messi to get things underway. But here come Valladolid in the wide area. Hopeful ball and, oh my word, he gets on the end of it. What's some Titi doing? Sleeping. Here come Valladolid again. Oh my word. Good block. Uh-oh. Oh my word, what a save. I'm keep being kept alive in these games by the goalkeeper, I swear. He's fatty. What can he do? Oh, I'll tell you what, that's not far wide. Let's see that again. Oh, this is going to be the perfect angle. He's out on his wing. Cuts inside and tries to bend one to the far corner. Bit of miscontrol there from Coutinho. Nice little flick pass. Back to Coutinho. Albert. Fatty. Nice bit of use of the no controls. Just a shifter and create a yard. Here's Lionel Messi. Oh, skips past one. Oh, glides past another. Oh, top bins. Oh, Lionel Messi. <laughs> what a goal. Oh my word, what a goal that is. Oh, that's got to be one of my favourite Messi goals. That is crazy. That's just like how you play as well. Okay, normally he shoots on his left foot, but he can hit him on his right. Normally I'd, I wouldn't shoot on his right foot, but it was just there. Look at this, look. Just skips past one. This little glide, little move I showed you the guys the other day in the tutorial. It's just beautiful. It's beautiful. And it looks so good when you just... When you put it off. So it skips past that one. And then it just glides past that defender. That is almost going to get the block in. But top bins. Have that. What a goal. 1-0. It took something special to break the Valladolid defence. You can see him defending in numbers. Making it really difficult to create anything. Here's Fatty. Oh, nice. Into Messi! Oh, just wide of the post, and that is half time. Throw in to Valladolid. Ball in. Headed down. Oh, that was a chance. Comfortably saved in the end. How come Valladolid? Where's the defence? Oh, my God. Oh, my word. What a ball. Got a chance to get players back in. The cross comes in. Michelle! Oh! Oh my gosh, it hit the post and fell so kindly to him. 
Oh no! One one, fifty fourth minute. The camp new stunned into silence. I can't believe it. I cannot believe what I'm seeing. Cross comes in, headed off the post. Ah, that is so unfortunate. But I'm TT, and he is off form in this game, see? He's just missed his header there. He's like fractions away from it, but it's a great cross. Oh my word, here come Valadweed again. Cutting us to shreds. Look how many players they get going forward. Sometimes the goes in or not. Oh my god! <laughs> is a kick. Imagine if that goes in. De Jong. De Jong. De Jong. Oh, just wide of the post. Oh my god. Time's running out. 75th minute. Griezmann. Fatty. Oh, he's lost it. No, he hasn't. He's still got it. Back into Griezmann. Griezmann. Fatty. Go on, Fatty. Yes. Come on. Oh, man. Pressure. The pressure! He sort of fumbled his way through and got the ball to Griezmann. And then Griezmann held it up beautifully. Let's have a look at that again. Look at that! He's getting wrestled by two players. And then Griezmann holds off his man. He just skips inside there. Oh my goodness. Intricate dribbling. You know, packed defence. Look at this. A lovely little three ball. But there, that touch there, just to set it, just to get his balance back before tucking it past the goalkeeper. That guy, he is saving my bacon in this uh, in this mass league. Oh my word. Long range shot from Valadweed. Saved, but here's Coutinho. Oh, he's got to get more purchase on that chip. Oh. And that is that, full time. 2-1 win against Real Valladolid and my word, how did I win that game? I think I had like two chances. Ridiculously difficult. But that man there, Fatty, saving me again. Fatty, Griezmann, Messi have to start. Dest has to be dropped. I'll tell you what. This is, uh, this, this is really spicing up my mass league where I can't drop players and, and players that I want to keep in, especially Dest. I want to keep him because he's been one of my best players. And Sergio Roberto is a complete liability. Now it's time for the match you've all been waiting for. We are travelling to the Santiago Bernabeu to face Real Madrid in El Clasico. It's going to be a, a pretty good game. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do the full match highlights. But I'm going to increase the time limit to 15 minutes. I think that's a nice amount of time to let the play develop. And really sort of see the patterns and take my time a little bit more to break down and, and hopefully beat Real Madrid. Um, but I'll take a draw if, uh, if I'm being totally honest. So let's dive into the game plan. Now remember, Dest is, has to be dropped due to the, uh, the form regulations. I'm going to bring in Furpo at left back. Messi, Griezmann and Fatty have to start because of their form in the last match. They are a little bit tired, but Trincao's on fire. And then we're going to go for a midfield trio of Busquets, De Jong and Coutinho. I'm pretty happy with that. Let's, uh, let's get this game underway. So here we are at the Santiago Bernabeu facing Real Madrid under the lights. There they are. Messi, Ramos. This is one of the flanks I'm most concerned about with the loss of Dest. Because he, uh, he's been instrumental and Sergio Roberto isn't the best defensively.
Andrea Zola. Long shot. Comfortably saved. Don't mind them shooting from that distance. I think this is where my best... Bloody hell. Cruise. <laughs> I think that's my best route to goal, to be honest. The right-hand side, Sergio Roberto. He's a little bit slow to get up, but he has got a good delivery. That's one good thing he has got. Risky pass that. And here he is. Messi plays it for Griezmann. A nice little one two with Coutinho there. He's in behind. Bit of a tight angle that though. Let's try and bend it out and around. Lovely touch from Griezmann, but a poor pass. Poor layoff to, to Messi. Here's Ferpo. Messi. Back to Ferpo. Back to Messi. Coutinho. And Ferpo again. And there's Cruz again. Ball in. Oh, off the post! Oh! A great chance to go ahead. from that man Fatty he's been sensational oh what a, what a touch what a touch that was super cancel all the way wide by Fatty. I let him take a few touches to get the ball under control because it was bouncing a little bit as he picks it up here. Watch. Oh, he's skewed wide. He's been instrumental. This season so far he's not firing on all cylinders in this game so far. Still a long way to go. Great tackle. This gets. Oh, that's asking a bit much. I'll fatty that. Go on, Coutinho. Messi is there, sort of. Um, just got wiped out. Play Ramos. So on, let's put. Got an idea here. Let's put. Bus get some free kick duties. Hopefully that's going to create a gap. Oh, not really. Uh, there's Messi. It worked! <laughs> it worked! See, there was a bit of a... You know, he was going to be sitting in that zone with Busquets. So I figured, let's put him on free kick duty to move him out of that zone where I wanted Messi to pick up the ball. But then Fatty was there, so I pulled him away with the defender. And then I selected Messi quickly. Got him to wriggle through those defenders. Pick up the ball. Just take a touch. Just to set it and then a nice little low finesse finish past the goalkeeper little touch there that made it that absolutely made it that that touch good goal one nil huge i mean i would like i said i would settle for a draw really in this game but the win would be massive. Still a very, very long way to go. And I know what it's going to be like if they're still losing <laughs> towards the end of the game. They're going to be going crazy. 
they'll be putting all that attack on and they'll throw literally everything at me, including the kitchen sink. Okay, so here's uh, Fatty. Nice little hold up play there. That's nice. Adriazola against Fatty. Interesting. Oh, look at that. Oh, my word. I honestly thought he was in. He is just so smooth in this game. Oh, there's Sergio Roberto. That's what I was worried about. Sergio Roberto, get back in. Good block. Took the pace off that shot. And fair power again. So this left hand side is going to be really key for me because I think we've got the beating of them. Ramos is out there. Ramos came across. It's interesting. There's Benzema. Real threat. Oh no! Core. Cool. You know, I've been given Roberto <laughs> some criticism in this match, but he let he saved my saved my bacon there. That's messy, right? Sergio Roberto. Oh, Griezmann's in a wonderful spot here. Oh, that is beautiful. Oh, I said he was in a beautiful spot. He was like right in between the fullback and centre back. And Sergio Roberto drew the fullback towards him and then just played the through pass. Look. Yeah, look. Marcelo's let him go. And Varane's got too much to do to get back in and right in between Varane and Ramos. Marcelo's let him go. That is shocking. I'd be so mad if I was <laughs> manager of Real Madrid right now. Because that is really poor. That's the kind of thing I expect from Sergio Roberto. <laughs> Lemon heck. Wow, what's going on? I could be uh, ruining these 15 minutes because uh, <laughs> the game would already uh, more or less be done and dusted, but with 15 minutes, it's, it's never done and dusted. If it's 2 0 at the 80th minute. I would be happy, but it's not going to be. Guarantee you they're going to score. <gasps> oh my goodness. <laughs> Ryan Q. Oh, word, ass in sight. His fair pipe. Got a quarter under his feet there, and. That's. Not going to do anything. Lovely little layoff. Tied up by Cruz. Pins him up. Doing well there. Here's Messi. Ah. Oh, heavy touch. What's going on there? Little Messi with a heavy touch. Collector's item. Oh, that defence has played so well. I think I'm on one blue. Yeah, I was. I'm back on one blue. <laughs> For a defensive strategy. I never go into these games neutral. You want your players just a little bit deeper generally. You can't you can't expect to dominate. It's better to hit these teams on the uh, on the counter if anything. That's what I'm pretty much doing. It's De Jong. Little scoop through ball. Kind of something to think about. And that is half time. Hmm. 
interesting interesting very very close as you know pockets of space being found and my defense has been incredible <laughs> so you know, another half of that please would be good let's continue it just waiting to get One of you. There's enough of you there to deal with that. Oh wow, what a what a shocking pass. Oh, oh, oh man. Ramos. You are taking the full biscuit, mate. Look at this. I wonder if he's trying to injure my main man again. He didn't just come back from injury, so I don't know what he's going to be like health-wise. This is the ball. This is the ball. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. Coutinho. I know Real Madrid can break. to drop back in. Great block. Oh, keeper. Can you catch that? I don't want these corners. Let's have bloody Ramos and Varane. Oh my goodness. Thank goodness for that. Corner. Uh, oh, go kick. Go kick. Whew. Referee. Again, come on. That's about his fifth foul. <laughs> I'm sure of it. <laughs> okay, dash and hold. Just there, just halfway. Curl it in. Right down the throat of the goalkeeper. A bad effort from this gets. This is a fair way out, isn't it? Oh, my neck. So I'm going to rattle this in. Oh, my word. Went for loads and loads of power. Pushed forward on the stick to generate that more. <laughs> Look at that. The goalkeeper would never have got to that. <laughs> Pushing forward on the stick generates so much, so much power. Obviously, it doesn't dip. As much. Oh, well, when Griezmann. Let's just start thinking about subs. Jeez, come on, ref. Yellow card? Casemiro? No. <laughs> Are you serious? How many more fouls are you give me? <laughs> the referee, you got to book this guy. You've already told him about it five times. Thank you. Oh, Gisela, come on. <laughs> what kind of attacking is going on here? Let's uh, have a look. Yeah, let's bring on Trincao. And then ballet. Leave the rest for the time being. Griezmann and Fatty have done a brilliant job, especially Fatty. The real threat on that left hand side. Uh, I don't know where to go with this. Let's try this. Oh! Busquets! Busquets! 
My word. All you had to do was head it on target and that would have been a goal. We downward headed it. Beautiful. It's all about getting that timing right. Drink out. Sergio Roberto. Pull over the top by Dembele and comfortably saved by the goalkeeper. And he's going to play it wide. Come on. Run, run, run. Nope. <laughs> Not going to get on the end to intercept that. This is dangerous, but I've got two players on him. Oh, he's still wriggled free, free, of course. That's it. Beautiful. Well played, lads. Double wrap on him. Here's Trinkau. Messi. Trinkau. Oh! <laughs> Knew there was a slight tackle coming in. Been so many. That's it. That'll do. Just clear it out. Let's bring on Carles Alena. Gonna go short. Suits me to be fair, honest. Generally. Oh, wonderful, Dembele. Messi waiting for Dembele. <laughs> I tried to hold it up by just doing a real tight turn, but there was just simply one too many Real Madrid players there. Oh, lovely play by Trincao. Sort of fainted out which way he was going to go, and their players didn't know either. kick or, or did Ramos get in the way of that shot because that would have been it that would have been game set and match that would been all three points going back to the Ber uh, the Camp Nou from the from the Bernabeu what's going on here Uh, not Megan, but didn't come off. I tell you what, we've kept Benzema really quiet in this match. That is no easy feat. Oh no. Open my mouth. Open my mouth. Hazard. Come on. Sergio Roberto. Hello. Pocket of space here for a trinket. He's not gonna out muscle Ram, but he's won a corner. He's won a corner. That's pretty good. No, 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 no. Counter attack opportunity here for Real Madrid. We've just about dealt with it. Yes, we did deal with it. Another person in the book. Is that Casemiro? Oh no, Hazard. <laughs> Ten more minutes. We can hold out. Because this is the... Wow. This is the time they're going to throw literally everything at me. Too far away for, for having a go, really, but what other options are there? Let's play it square. Let's play it square. Elena. Oh. That's a nice ball in behind, but acrobatic clearance comes to play. Messi smothered. He's got no stamina left. Who's that down? Sergio Roberto, come on, man, get up. Your place is to be, mate, like in defence. <laughs> Dembele, that's nice. 
Uh oh. What a block. What a block that was. I thought this was the moment they're going to get back into it. Cuts in. About to smash it into the corner. Got across. Block the PK. Blocking is so important in this game. Getting the angle right. It's never easy as well in this view. Um, another good block. There's Modric. Oh, nice. That was so nicely worked. Oh, well played. Dembele. Oh, you cheat. Oh, you cheat. What? You dare say that's a foul the other way. <laughs> what? Are you having a laugh? How's that? I can't believe that. Ah, oh, look, look at, look at Ramos. He's not getting there. Oh, he's trying to step over him. We're going to step over and then uh, go around the goalkeeper, but he he did this amazing parry. Oh, man. Kind of reminded me of Dembele against Liverpool. Should have wrapped it up and he fluffed it. This is unbelievable. No, no, no. That's poor. I hate the reverse step over. It's so slow. Such a slow animation. I don't know why I use that. Yes! Look at that! Oh, palms are sweaty. <laughs> that was really tough. I had to play out my skin defensively. Have eyes everywhere. Especially with Sergio Roberto in defence. I just wasn't confident at all. I would have, like I said, I would have took a draw, but to win this game 2-0. So next match, oh, Messi, Griezmann have to start. They could probably done with the rest. Busquets has to start as well. But to a man, everyone was absolutely excellent. Let's see how the league table looks. Just four points ahead of Atletico Madrid, but we've opened a seven-point gap now on Real Madrid, which is huge. Wow, what a cracking episode that was. The messy goal for me against Valladolid was, was really special, and the result against Real Madrid is huge, absolutely massive. We're going to be facing Olympic Marseille in the next match of the Champions League, obviously vying for that top spot against Liverpool. But yeah, there's some juicy matches coming up in the next episode as well. So stay tuned. I look forward to seeing you guys then. Thanks again. Bye-bye.